Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we're here with a brand new video. This is gonna be some crazy, crazy puzzles, which I'm really excited about this project. It's something, probably my weakest project as far as just awesome puzzles. We make very, very few of them. So we have some awesome new combos to bring you. And one of the big ones is actually a clutch that we tease on this channel. It's the Spot Nose Confusion Puzzle Clutch. And one of my most anticipated puzzle clutches of the year. So we get to bring you the awesome results from that. It's a really, really cool combo, guys. Thanks so much for Super Reptiles for sponsoring us. Let's dive in and check these combos out. All right, so we actually have three separate puzzle clutches to show you incorporating fire and leopard and confusion and then spot nose. We're gonna start with a simple puzzle, explain what they look like, and then start layering on the jeans all the way to the best one. All right, guys, so this is a puzzle, just straight, typical puzzle. You can see exactly how it differs from a normal. So some of the cool features that people recognize in puzzle is that it has these really interesting kind of side head stripes where it's interconnected, and the stripe kind of it drops down on both sides of the eye, so it makes the eye almost look like it has like a little mascara around it, kind of isolates the eye. Really, really low though, low and wide eye stripe compared to a typical look. And they don't connect in the back of the head very often, they kind of just, kind of go into this weird where they go start going right down the side of the snake. Aside from that, the sides are very interconnected, almost like little upside down curly cues or question marks. And that gives it a really, really interesting look on the back. Whereas like a jigsaw puzzle, almost pieces coming together here on the back um, in a way that is very, very, very unique. It's an interesting look. And another thing we see a lot from these animals is when you have a lot of interconnected sides, you usually have a very interesting belly which is totally true. This white comes really, really high up on the belly, these little white like nodules, and then slight striping down the edge. It's a very, very unique combination, and it's a very unique pattern for a ball python. The only thing we see that's very similar to this in ball pythons would be like the cryptic gene, which gives a very similar look, but also quite different. So it's two different ways here, and it's also recessive. Two different ways to create this kind of look, and puzzle is definitely one of the most popular, one of the more dramatic, interesting animals that we see. So in this first clutch, we made a leopard puzzle, which is a very, very cool take on it. Leopards, of course, have a very dark, kind of complex pattern. It's very different than a normal. And when you add the puzzle there, it creates a very, very, very cool look. So instead of having these kind of flowy sides, it has a very, very, very strong interconnected, you know, you kind of run out of words on some of this stuff, but check out the sides on that. You still have the little nodules, the little kind of almost like, um, roller coaster sides coming up there, but just the interconnectedness of the top part here in the darkness, you still have the little curly cues kind of curling under in different places, but it creates a much more bold version of the puzzle. I think it's an amazing combo. Definitely brings out the best features in the puzzle. And of course the clear belly with some even better edging on it, some cool sides there. So it seems like leopard and puzzle are absolute no brainer together. The only thing we could do better with this is all the darkness that the puzzle brings in, plus the pattern. It's cool to lighten it up. And so actually in the same clutch, we had a fire version of this, which brings in a little bit of pattern difference and then more brightness. Okay, so this is the animal that we wish we hit in the visual puzzle. This is the leopard confusion fire. And I think a lot of you are gonna say this animal is actually way better looking than the puzzles. Let's check this out. So this is fire leopard confusion, and this is a 66% het puzzle from the same clutch, but look at the pattern on that thing. But this is just the natural working of fire leopard and confusion. Leopard and confusion is such a really complex, amazing pattern, um, and the fire just brightens it. But this is what, kind of what we were hoping for in the visual puzzle. But we did hit something very similar to this. We'll show you in just a second in a puzzle, but wanted to show you this amazing hat and uh, just wish for what could have been and what hopefully will come in the future as we continue to work on this project. So we have three visual confusion puzzles to show you. We've shown these before on the channel. We made two of them last year, but this is the standard confusion puzzle. Just really, really love the pattern on it. It just boldens up, kind of like the leopard does, honestly, but a different pattern. And uh, I really like it. Of course, the confusions have really, really, really strong belly patterns. And so that comes into the puzzle as well. Brings in these really awesome kind of sides there. We're growing up two of these from last year that we hope to make some really cool combos with but need to see another one. What really was amazing to me is when we put it 
with the fire because the fire actually changed it up more than I expected. I thought maybe more like this pattern with just a little bit of color, but the fire actually added a significant amount of pattern changes. And I really love how we have the elongated pattern, but we have this internal kind of striping inside each of the alien heads, which I think is really pretty unusual. We saw it a little bit in the leopard, but the confusion fire puzzle took it to the next level. This is actually one of my favorite combos from this season, from this project. It still has a lot of belly pattern. It's, it's so hard to just explain this without just bringing up other morphs, but you almost see some tri-striping in this, right? We have a little bit of stripe on the back and then the side and then like a layered cake all the way down here to a base. It's just neat to kind of describe these in, in different ways, combining, <laughs> talking about other morphs and it's, it's complicated. It really is complicated, but we love the result visually. This animal is one of the most amazing ones we've made this year. So this is the combo that I was most anticipating from the puzzle project. And we actually teased this on our video about 60 days ago when the spot nose puzzle was on eggs. We were so anticipating this combination. It turned out pretty great. Let's take a look. So you guys might remember this pairing was a spot nose puzzle, which is one of the very, very best puzzle combos there is to the confusion hat, the same boy that produced all these awesome babies. And I was so anticipating the interaction between spot nose and confusion in the puzzle because spot nose and confusion is just a very reactive combo. And it actually turned out pretty great. It's very, very interesting, but not the craziness I was hoping for. I'll just be completely honest, guys. Not everything is exactly what we hoped for. It's still an amazing combo. And honestly, if I didn't have such crazy high hopes for it, I would be just beyond thrilled at it. But it's a very, it is an interesting combination in the sense that it took away almost any kind of back stripe out of it. It's very, very striped animal now. Much more puzzle-ish. You can see the combination definitely changed it a lot. I was actually hoping for, honestly, a lot less of the tan, a lot more blacks kind of blowing up everywhere around the animal in a unique way. But, you know, we don't decide how these things look, nature does, but we just try to figure out what the best combinations are. I still would love to lighten this up with some other genes and see what some more pattern disruption in here would be. It'd be interesting to see if we added leopard to this combo, just to see if it would break up that pattern even more and make, a, make it wilder. And then of course we can always lighten it. There's so many different enhancing genes. How cool would it be just to put DG in this? I know I say that every video, but always true. So really happy with this combo though, and it is a boy. So this will be a guy that we can build on in the future as we try to make brand new crazy puzzle combos. Well guys, that's it. That's a take on where we're at with the puzzle project. We have to have a few more cool things to show you guys later in the year. But next week, we have a very, very special video. We're gonna be looking through the Lace Clown Project, which is actually something that I've been working on for years now, but have not featured much on the channel. We're finally making some crazy progress on it. I'm really excited about it. Look at how they age over time, why I love that project so much, why I think it's a great investment. So make sure to tune in next Friday for that. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Thanks to our patrons, and we'll see you again next week.